Lauren, why would it seem logical for a mobile site uh, to be more useful to attract potential customers? Versus an app. Um, a mobile site definitely hones in on a broader spectrum. Consumers don't want to put, I mean, there's so many apps out there that you don't want. You're only going to put your top picks on your phone. You don't want everything on there. And so if you have an app on your phone, it means that you have a strong affiliation towards that brand. You're going to be using it. It's on your home screen and it's easily accessible that you want to use. So that is kind of where this whole story takes place about the differentiation between a site and an app. A site is going to, like you said, lure in potential customers and um, the app is going to be more targeted towards consumers you know that are going to be um, at the store. Now, these contacts that you spoke with, uh, did they bring up any interesting points about apps? Yeah, they said, I mean, there's a couple different functions that are essential when retailers are developing an app, one of which you have to absolutely have a location um, search on there. That's obviously the point of the app. You want to be driving in-store traffic, and so you absolutely have to have um, a way for consumers to easily you know, find a product and know where they can go in-store to find it is one of, one of the main things I think that you absolutely have to have when you're developing a uh, shopping app. And that's not a must for a mobile website? It is. I think, again, with the app, um, it's a little bit easier to find. You, it, you can just set up a feature very easily on the app, and so it's just something that should definitely be included, I guess, in both. Um, that, it, that is the point of a mobile presence to make, and a retailer, is to make sure that you are getting consumers from their mobile devices to the store. Um, so whether, I guess, whether it's on a website or an app, you have to have it. Thank you.